Hi everybody. Welcome to the last session of February for our lockdown cooking. Uh, it seems you're going to have an issue with bad connection, but I just hope that it doesn't uh, affect the <coughs> video at the end. But hopefully we should be okay. Um, today we are doing another cheat session because we thought that uh, baked aubergine. I've got some aubergines here, so let me just go through what we've got. So I've got aubergines here and we have them for about 10-15 minutes. So they um, and, but they're still holding their form. So that's the main thing. So we've got that. And then I've got my other stuff here, which is uh, cabbage. You can use fresh grated coconut. You can use desiccated, but I think there's nothing better than fresh coconut. Um, Bombay, uh, Bombay potato mix, which is part of our, um, our, our cookery. Let's see me. I don't know if you've got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got peanuts. And now this was not on your original recipe, but if you've got roasted, salted peanuts, uh, they're absolutely great way to add. I've got a little bit of chili powder in here, which is again part of um, coriander, tomatoes. I mean, these are things that most of us actually have it. And as I said, today is just literally about sheets cooking. And then what we've got is we've got um, three of our dishes. So we've got our keema mutter, which is minced lamb with uh, peas and potatoes. And uh, we've got, it comes with two packs as those of you know. So I've got the keema mutter here, which I've slightly defrosted. Um, I've got vegetable pulao, which is here. Uh, this is the vegan one and uh, it's got rice, it's got uh, peas and carrots. So that's got our vegetable pulao. And you could use the dal, but uh, I'm going to do be, uh, doing mine with, by st uh, stuffing my aubergines with um, Kima, which is the mince. Okay, very quickly, I'll show you what we are doing. So hopefully all of you have got your ingredients. I'm going to go at full speed today because I do want to finish at half past six. Um, my oven is on, but I'm just going to check with my glamorous assistant if you could just make sure that the oven needs to be switched on, please, for uh, 220. So if you switch the, or 200 degrees, so if you switch, if every those of you who are cooking along, please make sure your oven is cooked, uh, switched on. And in case you haven't done your aubergine, then this is when your aubergines need to be pricked and put in. So oven on at 220. Um, and then the first thing which I'm going to do is to take the aubergine here, um, and then I will cut it into half so I've, you can see i've got the stems still there and i'm just literally cutting it into half lengthwise so that you get cut up the bit here, so that's easier and you can see me i remove this out from here so that it's easier because then if you're cooking literally along with the stem the stems make it look a bit pretty so you can see i've just opened it up like that and it's partly cooked but not fully and then do that again you need a spoon um, or a knife whatever and first you'll actually need a knife so i'm going to get a small knife yeah and put it on our thing and then try and scrape out it's a bit the inside is still a bit spongy but try to leave not to cut all the way through, so leave the skin intact and then scoop out the fleshy bit in the middle. So I'm going to get my knife, so flatten it and then you can get the fleshy bit out. So you can see what I've done here and what, so there needs to be as little aubergine left. So I've taken out the fleshy bit, I'm going to take out a little bit more. Um, I can't see your questions if you've got any questions, but in case you have, just hang on to them and I'll wait till my glamorous assistant is back after switching on the oven. So aubergine again, we cut this like that. Flatten it so you can get the bit out and then put a knife. It's a bit like filleting, filleting a fish. So get your knife underneath that without damaging the skin and then get your aubergine fleshy bit. So you can see the back is it, so it's become a bit floppy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my baking tray. So there you go. The trick is to take out as much as you can because you want it all to be cooked. And, uh, I mean, I think there's nothing worse than uh, undercooked aubergines. Whereas if you cook them properly, they're like butter. Um, so that's a, here we go. So I'm going to do this with two. So I've got two aubergines here medium sized one so here we go that's the third one and we'll do the last one now so again make a cut around the edge 
flatten it so you can get your knife underneath the as much of the flesh as possible and then just go like that okay. not that there you can see that so i've got my four aubergines shells which i put like that here yeah? and then i've got the inside bit here so what i'm going to do with the inside bits is very roughly just chop it up very very roughly Oven on for those of who are joining us. Your aubergines, hopefully, they are half cooked. If they're not, then just put them in the oven and cook them. And you can see uh, there, you've got my. And I'm going to just very roughly chop it up into little pieces. You can even put it into a blender, but chopping it up is also fine. So that's your aubergine all chopped up. Okay, so the next thing which we will do is we will cook the inside of the aubergine. But while that's happening, um, I will move you to the other side. So there might be a slight pause, but I'll just move you so you can see uh, how we cook that. I'm taking you off. Yeah, so I've got my pan on here. Pan on. And again, you can stuff it with pretty much what you want. So here I've got nothing in it, just a dry pan. And I've taken out our keema mutter, which is the minced lamb, but you can literally put that in the oven, uh, sorry, in the microwave for a couple of minutes. I've just thawed it. That's all you need to do. It's okay. It's fine. I've got enough memory. Sorry. I've got help. Sorry, guys. The connection should come back. I'm taking the keema. I'm taking one portion of it. And that's putting that in there. warm pan and well, do exactly the same thing with dal bung your dal in there because what you need to do is you need to dry it out you don't want liquidy stuff uh, in fact i'll put the other keema mutter in there as well and this is cooked so this is a great cheap way because all your curry and everything is cooked so you don't really need to spice it up at all so beautifully so then you can see and I'm just waiting for this to come down. And while that's slowly chopped, and I'm going to bung the chopped aubergine into that as well. Literally, just cook this down. The aubergine which you're putting in there is also going to start absorbing all the flavors from your keema. I've got a lump there, so just leave it to cook for two minutes. And while that's happening, it's one portion of it. And now what we do is we, so all I'm doing is just setting it dry here. Yeah, and slowly, slowly cook. So I'll leave that. That'll take about five, seven minutes because what you want is you want it to dry out and you want all the aubergines to absorb this. So it's a bit like a mushed up moussaka. Uh, without the spaghetti in it, so that's it. Now my hob is on there, and I'm going to use that to do the cabbage. And that's again, it's like an Indian it's and um, um, and the salad. And we use a lot, we do a lot of this here, which uh, all of us love. So you've got that, and then I'm going to put oil in there. So let me find the spoon. So that's my spoon. Um, I'm going to put about two teaspoons. Three teaspoons of ghee in there because you know me, I like ghee. So I'm going to put, but you can put vegetable oil in there. Okay, let's put four. So that's gone in. And again, this is a really easy stir fry to make. You can have this, uh, you know, as a salad. You can take this on a picnic. My aubergine soup. And then. And to that. I'm adding our, bomb, our uh, MK Mandira's Kitchen Bombay uh, Potato Mix. And what this has got, this has got a mixture of whole spices and powdered spices. If you don't have that, you can also use um, some whole cumin or some whole coriander or the five, fix, uh, five spice mixture that I keep on talking about. That's a good thing to also put. So oil hot here. And again, you're tempering. 
So I'm going to put one teaspoon, just literally a teaspoon. And you can see that's fluttering. Spices in there. We've got some turmeric, we've got some curry leaves, we've got Indian pie spices. Uh, so let's put that in. We haven't checked this carefully. Yeah, and you're doing this on high heat. I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder to this. To this one. Taste of chili powder. Is frozen. And again, this is on quite high heat because it's almost, you don't want to make it mushy. You really want a crunch in it. So you just barely want to cook the uh, cabbage till the rawness is gone. And this, I'm just still drying this out. So making sure there's no liquid left in this one. It's got to be quite dry because you don't want the liquid to sort of leach into the aubergine and then turn it into mush. You want it to hold its shape. So I'm just making sure that all the aubergine is getting mashed up. Yeah. And then the grated coconut. Now you can get this at any good Indian supermarket. Uh, we all obviously, you know, we do quite a lot of our cooking with this. But this is fresh coconut. You can use desiccated, but then it will never be as fresh. So there we go. So that's gone in. So this is now, I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm just going to let it slowly cook a little bit. So it's almost like making a stir fry come salad. Uh, and as I said, it's a the uh, cabbage to be cooked. And it's nice to use the light color because you can see it and it looks lovely. But if you want it, you can even use red cabbage, whatever you've got left. All the liquid from this is dried up. It's completely dry. Um, there's no liquid left in it, so there's no danger of it leaching on the aubergine. And what I'll do is, while this is being cooked, uh, while this is being done, I'm going to stuff the aubergine uh, and put that into the original space. Um, so, back here again. Here's the aubergine. My rice is done. I'm going to keep that on the side. Aubergine here, nicely all ready. They're like little almost beautiful purple cups and they're all ready. And that is the aubergine, uh, the, uh, inside of the aubergine and mince, all cooked up. So, mix that up. Um, and what I'll do is I'll first put it into a bowl because it's easier to... Let me just transfer that to a bowl so you can see. You can also eat this by itself, but then you've got those aubergines almost waiting. You can even use this to stuff peppers. But it's a great dinner with a salad and a rice, and it looks lovely. So that's my aubergine and keema. And if you've got dal, then what you're doing is you're doing exactly the same thing, but making sure the dal is really thick uh, to take that. There, I'm going to now stuff this. No, before I stuff this, sorry. Um, I did have tomatoes, which I haven't put. But if you wanted, you could have also put some tomatoes into it. Uh, but here, this is there. And I'm going to take the aubergine and then very gently put it into these beautiful purple bowls. Aubergine bowls. There you go. And be quite generous. And you can use this mixture to pretty much stuff anything. Um, as I said, it's like a moussaka without actually using the 
having spaghetti or pasta or lasagna in it. And that's the last one. It should be about the this. So that's all done. Next step for that is if you want to put, if you had put tomatoes in that, I'm going to put a few tomato, a few coriander leaves just on top of it. You could even have it like this, but if you bake it, it's all going to come together and the flavors are going to develop beautifully. So, there you go. Put, I've got some tomatoes, not very much, but I'll put a few bits here so that it looks pretty. My uh, cabbage is cooking there. I'll go and have a look at it. It's fine, but I don't think I'm just going to give it a stir to make sure that it's not. Now you can do this and keep this, and then shove this in the oven whenever you're ready um, to eat. So that's the and then. I've got cheese. I've got grated cheese. If you're using dal, if you're vegan, you don't have to put cheese, but um, it is lovely. You can use pretty much whatever cheese you want or not want. If you want it hotter, this is the time to put some sliced green chilies into it. So that is now going to go into the oven, but I just show you what I've done. So we've literally taken one of our meals, which is the keema. We've uh, done the half baked the aubergine, scooped out the inside, mixed it all up, um, cooked it down, uh, turned it into mush basically, stuffed our aubergine bowls with them, uh, tomatoes, coriander, and cheese. And this is going to go into a very hot oven for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to give that to my assistant, because I don't have an oven here. Um, and then I will bring. So it's going to probably take another two or three minutes. But I'll just show it to you rather than moving the fridge, uh, moving the foam. So you can see here's the cabbage which is cooking. Um, um, so you, as I said, you want the crunch to remain, but you want the coconut to get nice and toasted. So that's what's happening here. Remove that out. And then what I'm going to do now is actually begin to start plating up in two minutes. So that's going to okay. So let's remove all this. The only thing that's going to be left put in the end are my glorious crunchy peanuts. Uh, you can put some more coriander if you want or I'll just keep it on the side. Yeah. Okay. Plate out. Our rice which, as I said, literally in the oven, in the microwave for four minutes and it's all done. I'll into that. Maybe so you can see it's beautiful and fluffy. And I'm going to put that into a bowl so that it's ready. So let's put that into a bowl here. And you can see this. The thing with rice, when we made rice as well, when we made our magic rice, as people said, um, the rice needs to fluff up. And you can see, you know, most people look at this and say, oh, that might not be enough for us. But if you fluff it up as soon as it comes out, it almost doubles in size. I mean, I find it quite hard to actually finish all this rice. You can see each grain is separate. Move this back. You can see that. Um, it's got carrots in it. That's our rice which is going to go. You can either turn, turn it upside down on the tray and give it as a side, but you can also do it as a side dish. So that's the rice all done. Let me just clear this plate out of it. The rice is done. It's done there. Let me have a quick look at how our aubergine is doing. Oh, sorry, our cabbage is doing. And going to taste it because what you need to know is it needs to have the crunch but it needs to so you can see the cabbage it's half done or it's actually done it's cooked but I'm going to just 
give it another two three minutes on high heat yeah and i put some salt into it minutes um, I'm just really just waiting for our aubergine to come out rice is ready um, the cabbage is almost done last thing we need to do is to put some peanuts into it um, and a squeeze of lime so let, or lemon uh, so let me I've got lemon here or half a lemon in here so I'm going to put that in as soon as I feel this is done how are we doing for time um, the aubergines need about 10 minutes in a high oven. So how far are we doing? How, good, how much time have we got? Seven minutes. Eight minutes left. Eight minutes left. That's fine. So, okay. So that goes in. Um, so while this is happening, uh, but I'm just going to get going off camera because I've bought my uh, fabulously lovely crunchy uh, cabbage out there. And I'm going to first find a place to put that on. Hot. You know, most people say we don't like cabbage. The only thing you can do with cabbage is cabbage soup. If you look at Indian food, there's just so much you can do with cabbage. And um, I think the three things that make, you know, cabbage, takes it from the mundane to the absolutely fabulous is coconut, fresh coconut with it because it gives it crunch and peanuts. So I'm now going to take quite a nice handful of peanuts and put that in. So I put my peanuts into this. Uh, almost this is what takes it to the... You can put other things if you wanted to... So, you know, if you want to put fresh things into it as well. So this is just ordinary salted roasted peanuts that I've put in there. Um, and then a good squeeze of lemon or lime or whatever you want to put. Mix that up. Because what the lemon will do is it will also soften the cabbage a little bit. Just taste that a little bit to see what it is like. You can see it's peanuts, cabbage, coconut. Mm. Really nice. If you want it, you could even put some fresh coriander. I've got some fresh coriander, so I'm just going to bung that in. And that is. Now you can have this cold. Um, you can pack it up for your picnic, you can have it warm, you can even add it like a coleslaw to other things, um, which is what we are going to do because we've got our aubergine, which is our main thing and this is almost like a side. Let me put this out on a plate. On our plate, on this lovely plate, I do love these plates, I've done by grey short poultry. Now there if you have let's take this side. So what you're doing is you're almost doing like a meat and two veg kind of thing, but you've got a rice a rice side dish, which is literally opening a packet and eating. Um, you've got this fabulous Aubergine. Oh, sorry, why do I keep on saying aubergine? Oh, this fabulous cabbage. Yeah, and I'm just waiting for the aubergine. Uh, would you please get the aubergine back from the oven? Sorry, we don't have an oven here. Yeah, There's a with the air fryer. Um, so once the once the aubergine comes, I'll show you how quickly that was done. So just to recap, guys, because um, I've gone quite fast today, is we've done a three course meal in literally 20 minutes using some cheats hacks so the first thing we've done is we took aubergines we slice we pricked them and we put them in the oven for about 10 15 minutes that they were half done um, and then we sliced them lengthwise opened them up and scooped out all the flesh and roughly chopped it up and left the outside beautifully intact then we took one of our um, freezer meals so we took our um, keema which is the mince but you can have any leftover curry uh, put that on a pan. We also, there was you could use dal. We put that in a pan and then we put the inside of the aubergine in there and then we just cook.
cooked it down. You could have put, it, put tomatoes in there, but I didn't. Um, and then we took that off the hob and stuffed our aubergines back with it. Uh, I topped it up with some cheese. I topped then then we put some coriander leaves and some tomatoes. It almost looked like a pizza topping into a hot oven for about ten minutes. So um, I have this that it's done. So if you want to just put that over here for me, please. Um, Thank you for that. So our aubergines and they smell absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you can see here, they've come back. Now you could bake them if you wanted to do it more, but I quite like this. So you can see how beautifully our aubergines are now baked with this. Um, and then, so that was the aubergine done. Rice, we literally took out rice. You, if you have leftover rice, or if you want to make the magic rice that we made last time, you can do that as well. Um, and then the cabbage. So all we did was we sliced cabbage, um, had some fresh grated coconut. We used the Bombay masala spice mix that we have in our kit. But if you don't, you can use any whole spices. You can use cumin. You just need something to give you a you know a burst of flavor. Um, and then we just stir fried that in some ghee or oil with fresh coconut. So the coconut needs to be slightly toasted because that's what I'm, you can use desiccated. Fresh is preferable, but if you use desiccated, that's absolutely fine. But if you use desiccated, don't use the really fine coconut flour. Have something which has still got some bite to it. Um, and then we put crunchy peanuts and then a squeeze of lemon juice. I mean, how easy was that? And so that went in. So we've got rice in that. And then I've got my aubergine, which I'm going to now gently lift up and put on the plate. And that is, in fact, you don't even have to do that. I just put that on the side and you can see. And that is actually our three course meal, or not three course meal, our three dish meal, literally done in two minutes, or 10 minutes, or 20 minutes. You can see here are the aubergines. So this is obviously the star, which is the baked aubergine. The rest of them are literally opening up some packets and um, heating that up. So there we go. And you can see how easy that was. So that's today's, as today's been, as I said, the last of, or the, the second of our cheats and the last of our February session. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's going to go back on, on IGTV after we finish. So what you can do is then do it at your leisure um, and hopefully do it over the weekend. And like you always do, send me pictures if you've cooked along and I haven't gone too fast. Um, and then uh, next week, I think we are doing Indian Fish and Chips, which is a, a great Thursday night or Friday night, midweek supper. Uh, so we're going to take fish and chips, we're going to add our twist to it um, and then bake it, or, or sorry, fry it. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And then we're going to do it with spiced potatoes. So it's going to be really, really good. So join us if you can next Thursday at six o'clock. Uh, and until that, stay safe. Um, I'm going to go for a quiz now. It's for this wonderful Oak Leaf charity. Um, my presence is purely ornamental, as I keep on saying. And usually they, I think they ask me only because I bring samosas. But we'll see. So we are doing it via Zoom, which is a first. And I'm quite excited. So we'll let you know what the scores are. But take care, everybody. Stay well. And uh, I think spring's in the air. So it's only a few more days before lockdown lifts. But hopefully I'll carry on cooking because I quite enjoy the lockdown session. So we'll just change them into cook alone. Um, so take care, everybody, and see you soon. Bye.